Anybody out there can hear me? Looks like I'm having some technical difficulties on my end. Um, I'm going to try to refresh my screen. Okay, looks like we're live. I'm not sure anybody's online yet, but this was kind of a last minute um, mad dash to get this going while I had time. We have our, my family coming for Easter tomorrow, so I have stuff to do, but so many people have asked me about my, my latest thing I can't stop doing, and that is making what I'm calling washi tape out of my painted collage papers. <clears throat> so, um... Yeah, here they are, and they are yummy. So I'm gonna get right to it because I don't think I'm gonna be able to stream for all three hours tonight, and I'm streaming instead of doing a straight YouTube, so I don't have to take the time with editing and uploading. So you guys are gonna get whatever it is I do. And I had trouble tweeting too. I couldn't, I wouldn't let me tweet to tell everybody I was uh, getting ready to do this, so. Anyway, it'll be on YouTube if anybody misses it, hopefully. Last time I said that, hey Genevieve, somebody's out there, yay. Glad you could join. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Ah, not that that's unusual. So I'm going to do a demo of my new, well, not new, but new to me, this, what I'm calling collage washi tape. I, you know, I don't know what else to call it. Um, but I really like it, and I've been using it. I used it, I did it, this is only partially finished. Hey, Nikki! Glad you could join. Um, I used a, some skinny strips of this um, here to divide the days on my um, uh, DLP project planner book. I, I'm way behind, so I'm just kind of getting up to speed. But I used some here, I used a strip here, I used a strip over here. One over there. Not finished yet, but I'm starting to use it, and I, I really like it. So, um, let me get this out of the way. Hey, Susan. Glad you could join. Last minute notice on this one, I know. Jeez, it was. Got so much to do. We had Comcast. Switch to Comcast from Verizon, because our Verizon bill was getting so out of hand. And then the guy was here till after 10.30 last night, putting it in. Had some problems. Didn't know if I was going to get connected. La -dee -da, all that stuff. So I'm here and um, so I'm going to put this out of the way. I took the day off Thursday and did some rearranging in my studio and added some shelving so I'm a little bit more spread out. And now I have my all my collage painted papers. They're in three big drawers right beside me, big flat drawers all spread out. I got one with all hot colors, one with all cool colors, and one with all neutrals. And it's really working out a lot better than trying to dig through everything. Um, so first I'm going to paint a few pieces of, of deli. Um, and I'm going to reach where my stuff was and it's not there anymore. <laughs> Need a little scraper. And I'm going to start throwing some paint down. We'll just see what happens. I love doing these. I could sit here and just do these all day. So that's a little bit of teal. These are golden fluids that I'm using for this. Hi! Is it Laura? Oh. <laughs> Don't let them make it too hot, Nikki. That's always the problem when my husband gets in the kitchen. Everything's too hot and not in a good way. Yeah, every, I had so many people asking me about this, Laura, that I just thought, you know, I'm going to take the time real quick and do one. So this is deli paper, um, and I just sprinkled some uh, 
coordinating uh, all Cole family uh, colors of goldens down here. And then just scrape. And let them blend whichever way they want to blend. And oh, so yummy. My favorite palette, turquoise and purple. And when you're happy with what you got, you just kind of stop. And I'm going to set this one aside. Hey, Hope. I know I've had so many people ask me, Hope, about doing one like this. And it's really... It's so simple when you see it, but I don't know. I was laying in bed one night, couldn't sleep again. And, um, hey, monkey. <laughs> um, and this idea hit me like, hey, I'm, I was thinking like, what can I do with these deli print painted papers? I love them. And um, so I thought, hmm, how about this idea? Hey, Donna. Thanks for joining, guys, last minute. This was kind of, I know I'm a fly-by-my-seat-of-the-pants kind of gal, but good Lord. I got family coming for dinner tomorrow and a lot going on and um, trying to get ready, but that can wait a few minutes. <laughs> so I don't know if I got a whole three hours here or not. Depends on how I get going. That was Golden's Green Gold, and this is, these are all golden fluids, uh, Primary Cyan, and this is a little fallow green blue shade. Hello. Are you clogged up there on me? Blue shade. All right. I always put too much paint on. Oh, a bubble. That gold, green gold comes out such a bright yellow when you get it straight. A lot of times when I actually paint with it, I'll mix it with white. Ooh, look at you, yummy paper. And I don't like to over mix these. Um... Because I don't want just a new shade of green-blue. I want to see all those variations in there. And see, I got too much paint on mine. I hate to waste it, but by now it's going to be, see, it's like one color. Can you guys see that? Maybe not. Let me look at my camera so I can see where I'm dragging this stuff. <laughs> yeah, see, it's by that time, you've almost got one new color. And I, I don't really want a whole paper of that color. So I'm just going to get rid of that excess. Um... And just about, by the time you get done spreading these around like that, that's almost dry. But I'm going to throw that up there. <laughs> and, and I'm going to make a couple more pieces. Um, hang on. Oh, I just realized I forgot to change my shirt. Hey, Rain. I'm glad you found me, too. Dang, I forgot to change into a painting shirt. Oh, Lordy. All right, this I'm going to do. I love these fluorescent goldens. I really like, really, really like them. They really make a page pop, I'm telling you. Some of these painted papers I've made are, I could roll them up and eat them. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this uh, fluorescent orange over the page, wherever it goes. And I'm gonna add some more hot colors. I don't wanna end up with any mud. So I'm gonna put some diary light yellow that cracked up paint everywhere. Diary light yellow. And I think I'm going to put some Quinn Magenta on here. Just a little bit. Let's see where that gets us. Okay. Sometimes I really like these. Sometimes, eh, doesn't come out the way I think. But... You know, when you're going to collage with them. This isn't my last layer, though. I layer... Um, oh, some of the green's coming off on there. I layer... Um, Lord, I am using too much paint. I've been used to doing those bigger um, printing pages. Hey, Happy Easter! Is it Donnie? Donnie? Okay, set this over here to dry. <coughs> I did a really pretty combination the other day, and for the life of me, I can't remember what the heck it was. But I think it had some Quinn red in it. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Let me look at it. This is one of them. What the heck did that have in there? <laughs> I think it had some of this magenta 
Oh, pyrrole red, maybe. And maybe the yellow orange neon. I use that a lot. I like this one. Let's try that. Um, let's try it. I'm loving this pyro red lately. Pyro red, Quinn magenta. And let's try a little bit of this. Oh, hi, Terry. Thanks for joining. Let's try a little bit of this combo and see what we get. You just never quite know. I got an idea, but they never come out the same. Make sure this is cleaned off. I don't want to get any more green in there. Let me just try to drag it from this direction first since I got more paint over here. Okay, that one's redder than I thought it was going to be. Funny, because I used red. How can that happen? <laughs> but if any of you guys... Um, I know, Rain, aren't they fun? The neons? Love them. Um, I really want to get the... Oh, you know what? Hang on. It's all coming back to me now. I think it was hot pink and magenta. Hot pink, magenta, and that maybe? I don't know. Let's try it. Yay! The last time I streamed, I did that yellow um, canvas, this here. And I finally uh, got the new picture printed out. Remember at the very last minute, I dropped my damn brush and gave the groom a goatee in yellow that he doesn't have. Well, I printed out a new picture, ooh, which I better sit up here out of the way so I don't give him another goatee. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get one in here. Hey, Vicki. Katie. All right, let's try some hot pink. You know what? I never really liked orange either, Vicky. For the longest time, I I just, like, yeah, I don't like orange. I can't wear orange. I have too much red in my skin. I look like a crazy person. Unless I have a really good tan, which I really can't do anymore. Um, so I don't really like orange, but I have, um, in the last year or so, really gotten on the orange bandwagon. Um, and love it. Okay. Trying to use a little bit less paint, but then I get carried away. Eh, shocker. Um, are any of you guys doing the, um, hey Pam, Cindy. Hi, thanks for joining, girls. Are any of you guys doing the um, Documented Life Project? Ooh, a lot of paint. And Cindy, hey. Oops. I'm watching the screen and not watching what the hell I'm doing. Woo. That's pretty happy and bright. Okay, I'm running out of drying space here. Get that on up here. This underpaper is going to be pretty wild. <laughs> I was working on my um, Documented Life project the other day. Oh, Cindy, you're in Documented Life and Hope. Cool. I just did, uh, you might have seen it. Where the hell did I put my book? I did, a, oh, great. Oh, I almost wiped them on my shirt that's not a paint shirt. If I knew I wouldn't lean over too far, I'd just take the damn thing off and wipe the paint on my butt, on my belly. <laughs> but nobody wants to see it if I lean in too close. That would change the whole topic and rating of this of this stream. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Trust me. Oh, and Cindy too. Cool. Well, I posted a if you guys follow it on Facebook. This is mine, and I'm way behind. I started like three months late, but I did this little ditty. Um, 
the other night. And this was Dave and I, our first date was February 10th. So this was actually Valentine's week, but this is our anniversary day. And I put, this is a piece of my art I had done from Insta, uh, Pictogram, Pix, Prince, Princegram, for of an Instagram picture. Ugh. I say that three times fast. So I'm doing this, and I got these bright colors in here, and I used some of this tape here and to divide the days. And a little bit up here and a little hunk over here. I haven't done this side yet. Um, and this isn't finished. I have a lot more to do. But um, I just kind of this. I was laying in bed and had this idea about how can I make, what can I do with these painted papers other than you use them for collage? And... Um, this idea hit me, and I almost got up in the middle of the night and came down here, and I thought, that's just stupid. Well, then, don't you know, I haven't slept since then at night, and I was down here one morning from 3 to 4.30 in the morning making my tapes. So you guys have joined in late. Hang on, let me show you real quick. Here's a handful of some of them that I've done recently, right? Yes, I'm doing the tape today, Cindy. And um, so these are some of them. And this one here, I think, is my favorite. Because I have that blue, I have that tealy green, and the orange is in there. Um, but these are from the Deli Papers. Um, oh, wow, 36 years. Good for you. Um, so anyway, this is how they turned out. They're a lot stiffer than washi tape because of what they're on. And I'll show you that just as soon as we decorate a couple more papers here. And um, I got the paint out. And I just can't stop scraping paint. So let's do something. Can't go wrong with teal. I've always said that. I love cobalt teal, but I only have a bottle and a little bit left. So this is just the regular teal. And let's see. Let's do another one with purple in it. I didn't... Ooh! Hello, hunk of dry paint. Thanks. They really, they really are bright, and um, I do really like them. I gotta say. So I had so many people ask me about it, and I thought I want to squeeze this in. Um, to show you guys what I did. This stuff doesn't really matter what it looks like because it's going to be torn up, right? Or in this particular ones, I'm going to be using them and just cutting strips out of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still working the teal nail polish. All right. And let's see. Do I have one that's bright enough in the right color family? Not yet. Hang on. Let me look at something here. All right, that was really bright. Okay, I'm going to use, let's try this, fluorescent orange. And some diary light yellow. That's my favorite combo, teal and, and uh, turquoise. Turquoise and purple, sorry. I knew that didn't sound right in my head when I said it. Um, hmm, what do I want to put in here? Maybe a little that. I think that's what I said. Okay. Enough of that for now. Let's see what we get with this one. I turn it so it looks like wherever the most paint is, I get that first scrape. So then I have most of the paint on my card, and it hangs with me while I go through if I run out. Like, if I'd start here... I got nothing, and then here's not too much. But I got a little bit more over here, I think. So I'm going to start there and go back and just pull it all through. Sometimes I leave white space if it looks cool and streaky. Sometimes I take it right to the edge. Ooh, green. Hey, rascal. Okay, that one had a little bit, got a little wet there on me. I'm going to put this one. I'm running out of space. I believe I just said that. 
Okay, I think we actually have enough now to make a couple. Let's see what I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's make one more of what, 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 what color? What color do I want to make it? Hey, Oki! Let's do a couple greens here for Jean, who I haven't seen sign on yet. But in her honor, we'll throw some green down here. That's the chromium oxide green, green gold. And a little, where the hell did it go? Fallow green blue shade. Throw a little bit of that in there. That kind of goes off a little bit with that. Hello. This one is really, I don't know what's wrong with that one, but it's kind of, it's a little thicker than most of my fluids. Green and teal. You want a little teal in there? I'll throw a little teal in there. I ain't scared of teal. Throw a little bit in there. All right, let's see what we got. That's kind of interesting. Too much green. You want to kind of time it so you don't have too many. Oh, thanks, Laura. Yeah, I have, um, I don't know how many uh, you stream videos I have, but I have, I don't know, maybe like 60 on YouTube. Because when I get done here, I upload them to YouTube. But I also um, do some strictly YouTube videos. Well, I'll sit down here and then I'll do a video and edit. But my time has been so crunched lately that the editing and uploading takes forever. So I've just been, been doing streams and throwing them up there when I don't have the time to sit down and, uh, and edit. So, um, yeah, I got, I got a few of them out there. Are you guys um, friends on my art Facebook page? It's Inky Obsessions, if you're not, and that is, and I also have a blog on Blogspot called Inky Obsessions, and I have links enabled, guys, so if you want to share a link of a product, or your YouTube channel, or your blog, or whatever, um, feel free to, um, hang on, I just heard, I just saw Okra Coke. I love okra coke. In my previous life, my ex-husband and I had a sport fishing boat we kept in Hatteras um, and went to okra coke a lot of times on the weekends. If the weather, if we were blown out and couldn't go out to either scuba dive the wrecks or, or fish, we would go over to okra coke. So I, I love okra coke. And I was reading that cancellation of May was in May 5th to 10th. Ah, I got to go to Chicago the 10th of May for work which is on my brother's birthday, so I remember that. Oh, thanks, Rain. Hey, Anita. Okay, so I think we got enough for, for demonstration purposes to see what we do next here. So I now I kind of layer these up a little bit. I just don't want them just like that, right? This is the first one. That's dry, bone dry. Um, I like to put another little something something on here and it usually ends up being something black and something gold i've rearranged myself into oblivion so i gotta find all my stuff i gotta go to panera again and get another piece of this stuff i use this all the time as you can tell so this and this and couple of my favorite stamps I put in this little bin that I have in one of those little Michaels um, things, storage things. One of Robert Marie's. I ought to do it. All right, good enough. So now I just um, grab a paint palette. I add a couple little layers. Because I can. <laughs> hey, Pat. 
you're not too late. All right, so let me get me some elbow room here. My black ink pad. And um, I'm going to stamp a little bit on here. I know, aren't those fun, the needlepoint canvas? I use this all the time. That's one of my favorite patterns. Um, you know, I'm thinking this one doesn't even need black. That's kind of dark on its own. And I'll add black when I get it collaged together for the tape with stamps. So I think I'm not going to do black on this one. I think we'll go right into the gold. And here's what I do with the gold. This is Golden's Iridescent Gold Fine liquid uh, fluid acrylic. This stuff is awesome. It's so highly pigmented. And let's see. Let me look at my camera and see where the heck I am. If you guys can see what I'm doing or not. Yep. So I just take my finger and just kind of, depending on what I'm putting in there, a circle stamp or something long and skinny like this paper I want to do, like car graded cardboard kind of stuff. Ooh, yeah, I almost wiped it on my shirt. Not a painting shirt. Don't screw me up. I've got to go back and get some more of this. The center part that I've used a lot are pretty much pretty much a goner. I've been trying to use it on another side, but then I get my fingers in it. But we'll see. So, um, just dab this in the paint and start popping a little bit of pattern down on the papers. Nothing, not too worried about it. I tend to look at this like it's a whole canvas and it's, it's not. It's just going to be ripped up. So I just try to make sure there's a little something just about everywhere. I go off the pages. I go, I overlap sometimes. I don't care. So let me try to catch up on my stream, my uh, chat here. Oh, well, now she's large canvas. I see. Oh, yeah, paper crimper. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Oh, the gutter stuff, huh? That's a neat idea. So anyway, here's here's that one. I'm going to let that little bit dry on there. Um, something else popped into my... Oh, I know what I'm, I'm telling you. My memory is shot. My good friend Ellen Vargo has her own line of stamps. And you guys, if you watch me, you know I've, I've shared this and you probably know about this. But this, the one, my favorite set of hers are these scratchy stamps. And I don't know if you can even see the design because they are that. They they're just look like scratchy shapes. This one I kind of inked over. You can't see it. But there's six different shapes on here. And I use these more than any stamp that I own. And this, uh, the circle, you know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I will tell you. I'm going to go for some silver. Iridescent Fine, again, by Goldens. And I'm going to put a little bit on my palette paper. And I'm going to swirl this in a circle with my finger that's about the size of the stamp that I'm going to use, right? Let me pull this back. And since this is so dark, instead of... Um, I have organized myself into oblivion. Lord, where's all the stuff? <laughs> I have to use this big one, I guess. I'm going to use this in silver. You do need those stamps. Um, they're, they're carried and manufactured by Paper Artsy, which is in the UK. However, Simon Says Stamp sells them here in the US online. Here's the other sets. She's got this one that are kind of like leaves. They're very bold and graphic, but they'll lay into one another and form patterns all over your page, like repeat borders. You've seen this one in some of my collages that I've done. I stamp these on tissue, and then I cut out the tissue and collage it on my canvases. Um, Laura, the, the, these are at either, they're Paper Artsy is who manufactures them, and they're carried on their website in the UK. You know what? I'm so used to, I'm sorry, I got them upside down. I, um, I'm so used to using my other camera where I had to show it upside down before Shannon Green told me that all I could, how I could flip it when I edited the tape. Oh. Anyway, they are also carried here in the U.S. at simonsaysstamp.com. Just like Simon says, go eat a frog. Um, 
so they carry them as well and she's coming out with a couple more designs but she's got four sets these basic ones are really cool and graphic and you can stamp easily with paint with those as well as ink of course but and these are like different borders like this fits in you can keep going and going and these are made that this fits here so you can make one long row of this or this even these triangles you can or the diamonds you can stamp this this is one stamped together see it's connected and then offset it and offset it and you have you'll end up with a whole page covered in this if you want this is a repeater this is all one stamp and you know you just start it again with a circle here and just keep going and it makes really cool borders but those are the other three yeah the leaf ones they're great too cindy i had found all of them a must have yes um dorothy hi yes you can get them in the uk at paper artsy paper artsy carries them so before I talk till my paint's dry, I'm going to go in here and grab a little of this on the circle. And I might have this too thick. Hopefully not. It looks like it's not getting on the one end because my fingers are in the way. And let's pop a little bit of this down to help brighten it up some. Oh, look at you. Oh, hello, yummy. <laughs> Yeah, baby. I love these scratchy ones. They're like real sketchy, loose sketches of the shapes. And so now you can see we got a little, the gold bars and the little silver circles on there. Ha! Ah, you can't hate that, people. I'm just saying. All right, so let me dash off onto another one here um, while I have the stamp with silver paint on it. Oh, no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to do that. <coughs> You're welcome, Dorothy. Let me put this one back, and I'm going to use the rectangles, another one of my favorites. When you make a whole page of these, which I do, I can show you if I can remember where the hell it is. Um... Here I've done, I've pre-stamped them on tissue when I didn't know what I was going to do, just playing around. And here's the square stamped over and over again on the tissue. Oh, that's another one of these. And then here's the triangle, the scratchy triangle. And then I can just rip a piece of these and use them in collage and just have those ready in my, in my pile. Um, time out, my husband's leaving. You going over to feed the pups? Yeah. Okay. All right, so you want to um, back something? You can surprise me. Uh, I'm easy. Don't spread that around. Yeah, I know. I've have seen a little bit. Sorry, my husband. Oh, hey, Lou Jean. My husband is. Um, I know, Pat. Um, they're they're always out of stock. As soon as they get them, they sell them out. Um, you can get them at Paper Artsy, but I you. The shipping, of course, is going to be more than when you can get them at Simon Says Stamp. But maybe they'll refresh an order because she's got new designs coming out soon. Um, hey, Lou Jean. Yeah, my, Dave's just leaving to go over. Friends of ours are on vacation. He's oop, going over to feed their pups. This is the rectangle. This is some kind of love in here. Ooh, I smeared that one because this, I don't like these for sometimes because they're too low. Must be the way I hold it, and my fingers touch, and it smushes it. When I get it right, it's a real fine, scratchy line that is awesome. I'll put this in first before the silver paint dries. That's my thought process. I'm just amazed I have one anymore. <laughs> Lordy. Okay. All right, that's enough of those. Yeah, he is this weekend, Lou Jean. Or for a week, actually, it'll be, I guess. So here are the silver scratchy rectangles of Ellen's um, on that paper. And now, I'm going <clears> to <throat> wipe this off a little bit. It'll be a minute before I use it again. I don't want them to get too munged up. I use these things a lot. 
But when they do, I'll buy another set of the same things because that's how much I love these. I'm not kidding you. These are my favorites. All time. All time faves. So I'm going to go back in. Um, no, you know what I'm going to do? Let's go with some black. Um, here we go. Problems, Donna? Some black. And I'm going to kind of smear this out in like an arc-ish shape. C, not a K. <laughs> All right, there we go. I hope I don't wipe this on my shirt unconsciously. Yeah, I have made some of my own stamps. This is an old circle. It, it looks like it's all dirty in here, but this doesn't print. It's just a circle ring there. And actually, I cut this one myself, but it's also, it's one of Ellen's. I copied her design before she had, you know, the, somebody manufactured these for. I liked it so much, and she said I could copy it. So I carved that one. I have a few other ones that I've carved myself. So I'm going to go with this now. Um, and I just kind of put it in here a little bit. I don't want too many of the holes on there. And just wherever I think it needs a little pop, I put a little pop. But it really, I just love this design. It's kind of oriental-ish looking, I guess. Maybe because it's like a fan shape. I don't know. But I love it. I know that. And I think everything looks better with a little pop of black. But that's just me. So there we go with that one. That's kind of dark. I don't know if you guys are really seeing it that well on this. But you will see it better when I... Well, I'm going to put it... Do it on something like this. Okay, so let's do... Um, You know, while I still got the black paint wet, let's just carry on, shall we? Yeah, they are, um, they're really basic, um, Pat. They're not, um, you know, very intricate, but that's what I like about them. They can be used for anything and everything. And if you, you know, if you go in and, and you know, multiply that, you know, put a, put them all together and just cover a piece of paper, especially with those scratchy ones, that's instant background right there. Of course, my paint's running thin, but you can see that a little bit better in there. And I'm going to go back. There it is. So where's my goal? Where's my goal? Oh, cool, Anita. I'm trying to read and work. Not a good multitasker anymore. Smed this out a little bit. Back to my Panera. Panera pattern popper. A <laughs> little bit of gold on here. Oh, hello, lover. You know, it's very subtle. But when you see it, it really grabs you. Yeah, I just used the canvas as a stamp, um, Pat. Sort of. So there's that one. Let's do something on the green. Let's keep going with gold. That'll look good on the green. Especially on the darker bits. Drying up on me. All right, now let's put a little, a little pop of something in there. My hands are cold for some reason. Let's do some of Robin Marie's. Um, this I want to use ink on though. I don't. You know what? Yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> I did see um, Julie's paper. Uh, Deli paper Easter eggs. Do you guys remember last year? Um, around Easter, I tried to jelly print on hard-boiled eggs themselves. Of course, that's a better idea to put them on deli paper and then deli print paper, then cover the eggs with the paper. 
But no, I had my jelly plate out and I made designs in the paints and I'm trying to roll the eggs across there. Actually, it worked, but they only had a band of color around them. I love this, this scratchy circle of, of Robin Marie's too. Love her stuff. I could, she's got such a cool style. I just love seeing her work. I, she was one of the first ones that I started to follow a couple years ago when I first got into all this s yummy stuff. And um, I still do. If you guys haven't checked out Robin Marie, you really should. And, and she's part of the Art 5 group um, for the Documented Life Project. I'm sure you guys know that to do it. But if you don't, you should check her out. There's that one. Stack that one over there. Oh, that one's probably not dry yet. All right, do a couple of these hot color ones. Um, let me get some of this oops, off of here. No, Pat, you know what? That might have been, um, ah, her name's Carolyn Doobie, I think did some one time. Okay, here's a here's a hot mama right here. So let's see. I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna do something. I'm go, oh, you know what? I haven't used this one, and I love this one. Let's do this. I saw um, Jane Davies. I watch all her videos. I love her. I'm taking some of her classes when I go in October to um, Art and Soul in Virginia Beach. And she uses a real plain rectangle stamp like this and just puts a lot of them on there, mixing it around. It really looks cool. I think I will attempt that without further ado. Let's see how I can, what I do with this. So I'm going to try to spread this out so I kind of get a, a little bit of paint on the whole stamp when I push it in there. Hopefully. You never know how it's going to go. Yeah, I, th I do think I remember Carolyn doing that, actually, the more I think about it. So let's go with just these little gold rectangles, and let's intersect them a little bit. While I channel Jane Davies. And if they print part of the way and they don't print some, I'm not too worried about it because this is going to get torn to bits. But I will keep going like this, just because I can, and I want to. <laughs> and it just gets a pattern down on the page. That's kind of cool. Don't you think? All right, now let's do, I need some black on this one. Let's do, whoops, hello. Since this is kind of linear, the paint looks kind of linear, and this is a rectangle, I think I'll do this. Oops, almost plopped it right in there. Hello. Pay attention. Plop it in here a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oop, oh Joe's not liking something that he's hearing up there. Oh, and there goes Babe joining in. You guys hear them barking? Knuckleheads. They are the cutest darn things, though. <clears throat> Poor Babe is literally afraid of everything, including her own shadow. Literally. Huh. Hey, happy that's happy I'm on? I'm happy you're here. Now we're all happy. <laughs> okay, that's good Good for argument's sake. Just a little pop it in there. Right? I could just make these, like, sit here for hours. And sometimes I do. I'm just saying. Here's another bright one. Let's do... Let's... No, that's too dark. Let's... Let us do some... Oh, I know. Hello. 
Okay, we can put some more black in there, but let's do some... Um, Um, somebody said they like triangles, right? Let's throw some triangles in there off of Ellen's scratchy stamps. Um, I got some more gold up here. I'm going to use this real quick while I can still get that gold. I got it. I think I got it. All right. The, oh, hello. Nice. These make a really cool border, too. Hey, Pat, I did actually start to play with one the other day, and I didn't get too far. Um, I forget what the heck happened. Um, but I have looked at it, and I'm anxious to really get out my alcohol inks um, and play with it sometime soon. That's what I want to try on it. But it is a lot like Yupo, isn't it? Um, but this one, anyway, I was saying about this one. Like, see this design here that's with the point up? That's the apex? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Then you can, of course, do a row. Let's do it this way. Let's not be stupid. Let's make a row of those, right? And then if you go in and turn it upside down, you can come and meet the row. And you have, like, an instant, really cool, uh, scratchy border. Let me see if I can get it to hit the light right. There you go. See it? how they go together, and so many of her stamps do that. It really makes it, um, it really makes it, uh, ma makes them usable stamps, you know. I reach for them all the time. They're at the top of my pile, and I got a pile. Okay, I'm just going to go off the edge a little bit on some of these. Okay. Yeah, Katie, I do too. Scratchies, I'm telling you, they are must-haves. And I'm making no commission. I'm just saying. Okay. Put that one back. And now let's do... i got some black on here yet. Let's do a little bit of this in black. See if I can get it juicy again. It's kind of spread out there. Oh, yeah! That would make cute sun rays, wouldn't it? With the... Eh, good idea. Okay, good enough. Good enough to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, let me get rid of some of this mess. Buckle up my sleeves. Get my little stamps. Keep myself organized since I went to so much pain the other day. Rice, we had the, the Comcast guy I told you was here until, like, um... Oh, it might, Pat. That's a good idea. Uh, that's a good idea. Um, but anyway, um, he was running back and forth like some kind of maniac. And uh, he was downstairs. And Dave followed him down here. And he was up on the ladder uh, trying to hook the... Um, oh, actually, I'm going to need that one. And maybe this one. And maybe this one. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Let me leave that there. <laughs> Lord, girl. I'm telling you. Um, so, uh, he's up on a ladder, our ladder, down the basement. Because he didn't have a ladder. He didn't have a drill bit. And he didn't have a staple gun to mount, uh, you know, put the cable up in the, to mount it to the rafters in the basement. So, he's using all of Dave's tools. And, uh, he's this little short guy. Doesn't make him a bad person. Not saying that. But he was running around like he had, I don't know. He, I, I thought he was, had some sort of an issue. Because he was running around the house so fast. It was, it was funny, actually. Anyway, Dave's behind him. And he gets up on this ladder. He falls off the ladder. And Dave catch, Dave caught him. Hey, Sonia. Dave caught him before he hit the floor, but one of the shelves that I just 
uh, rearranged. He smashed into that and broke the back out of that shelf. And the part that really hacked me off, and he didn't do any damage, I don't think. But you know those those pillar canvases, like the triangular shaped canvases that I've been making? Don't you know? He knocked those off of where I had them stored underneath this big table. Um that has a bottom shelf that I had them all laid on there and put together like a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Blotto on those, but Dave put them back together as best he could before he told me what he did. Oh, sweet Mary, we just want cable. How hard is this, people? All right, I'm going to clear up my space here a little bit, putting my goldens away. Won't need those anymore. these out of my way. I was hoping Jean would be on tonight. Anybody know where Jean is? Music scrapper? Hope she's doing okay. I know she told me she had shingles. I know, Cindy, right? Look at this yummy piece of paper. <laughs> What do you think is going to happen to that someday, somehow, somewhere? So, um, I'm going to be right back. i got to grab my little tub of water. Forgot the water. Okay, so here's what my idea was, and that's when I made those bits out that I've showed you guys earlier. Um, I thought to myself, self, and I've heard of people, um, you know, making the uh, their own washi tape by putting, you know, double-sided tape and sticking it down on the back of a piece of this, right, and then cutting it out, and... You know, I've heard of that, and I know that, and I thought, that, that might be a little bit tedious on an old bird like me who doesn't have the patience to sit there and cut stuff out. So what I thought was, how can I do like a sheet? Like, what can I, and then I thought, uh-huh. Oh, okay, Carol. Okay, that's good to know then. Um, so I thought to myself, self, why don't you try some of those full sheet labels that you bought for God knows what and use those. So this is what they are. They are these full sheet, A oh, hell that, oh, that's it. Full sheet labels by Avery, eight by and a half by 11, full size of paper, but they're all, it's a complete one big label. So, I have a drawer full of tapes too, Pat. Oh, Anita, you broke your heel. Oh, crap. What a thing to break. But that took forever to heal up. Oh, your heel took forever to heal. No pun intended. Okay, so this is what we're going to use to collage on these papers. So this is what I do. I just have a stack of stuff over here. And I have my handy jar of matte medium. And, oh, I forgot one. Oh, you pitiful little thing, you. I'll get you later. Um, oh, Jen, that sounds interesting. So anyway, here we are. I got the label side up, right? Sticky side on the back. And I use a decent size brush. That's about an inch flat. And... Um, I just start ripping this stuff up. I don't know. Start tearing little skinnier pieces. This stuff tears pretty straight too, actually. If you really get a hold of it, okay, or not, you know, whatever. So, um, look how straight that one tore. See what I mean? Know what I'm talking about? Not really, but. As long as people are going to be sucked in and believe me, I'll keep sticking with it. Here's this little piece of yumminess. Let's go here. Let's get a couple of these torn up to have ready. 
sometimes I tear them when I'm doing it and tearing them. And I'll try to use like a, one of the straight edges of the paper on the edge of this label. Um, and that's all it is, people. I know it looked like a lot more, didn't it? <laughs> so, uh, putting a good layer of matte medium down. And I'll use the edge of the paper so it's already trimmed perfectly straight on the edges. Oh, and even yummier once you get wet, my little lovely. And there you go. So there's one down. I'll just cut that off later. And now let's mix it up with some colors. Give me something, something hot. Something hot, something hot. Ooh. Oh, crap, so much for me talking about pairing straight. Ooh, and there we go. Okay. Watch I collage myself to myself here in a minute. Yeah, it is deli, deli paper. I found this, the brand, um, I know there's some new people on here tonight, but we found this brand. One of the ladies posted that Sam's Online had it. Um, our Sam's card had expired and we had decided we weren't going to renew it. So I didn't want to pay the renewal on Sam's just to get the, the paper. However, because it was, I found it on eBay, so you get five 1,000 sheet boxes on Sam's website for, it's 12 by 12, it's not creased, like some of them are in those like pop-up tissue boxes. Um, it's, uh, um, ooh, I lost my train of thought. Five of them for like $15.98 for 5,000 sheets and free shipping. But then I looked up on eBay and I found it on eBay for um, about the same price. It was $25, I think, free shipping. But it was cheaper for me to get it there than it was to um, renew our Sam's membership to get it for $15.98. So I ended up paying $25.98 for it. 20 whatever but free shipping so it's five dollars a box yeah they don't have it in the stores they only have it online it's all it's all online sometimes i overlap when i'm doing this and it really doesn't matter when you when you see it in the end um this is kind of on the reddish side but I'm feeling a little crazy, so I'm going to go with it. And see where this kind of tore, just tear this and come back and smush this in here. Because remember, I'm going to cut this into little strips of all different sizes to have my way with. That's kind of getting a little bit sticky there. Let that breathe a minute. Like a fine wine. Yes, 5,000 sheets. Five boxes of 1,000. It's like 30-some pound box when it arrives. Dave said, what the hell did you order? <laughs> oh, bless his heart. Let's see. What did, did I get that one? Yeah, I got some of that one. What's this one look like? Oops, not much there. 5,000 is, that's a lot of deli paper. Oops. It's a little thick. Well, <laughs> and some of them just don't want to tear right. And then I guess that's okay. Do I want another? I want another green one in first. Hello, green. Where are you? I, you know what, I wouldn't either, but you know what I did? I shipped, um, I took, when I went to stamp camp, I took a couple boxes and shared with the girls there. I actually kept two for myself so far, but I'll probably end up giving another one of those away. And I, um, I sent, uh, sent one to Jean because she can't get, um, 
she can't get it in Canada. So I sent it to her. Man, I didn't realize how expensive it is to ship there. Good Lord. No wonder people say they don't want to buy from the U.S. I'm going to try to get a skinnier piece of this off of here. And there it is. But yeah, the paper cost me about five bucks and it was over 50 to ship it. But, um, which I, like, I was <laughs> questioning the guy the whole time. Like, Are you sure that's right? But, um, I wanted her to have it, so I just thought, well, whatever. But, um, which orange did I have on there that I like? This one? Didn't use any of this one yet. Let's just tear a little bit of everything up, shall we? Yeah, that's a nice brace piece, too. And since, since this is going to look like a roll of washi tape, I like it to kind of go together and put colors together. I like, of course. But, um, I'm going to use that one on the corner. Since it's tape, you know how some tapes are made. They're colors that really don't go together. But since they're on the same roll of tape, they kind of do. You know what? I just looked at, at this camera. Let me pull this off of here so you guys can see what I'm doing and not all this mess in the background. There we go. Is that better? <laughs> she can't get it there. She can't she can't get it there. And um, she was having a lot of trouble doing it, so I thought, ah, let me see if I can help assist out. Okay, where's that ready one? Reddish, reddish, reddish. There you are. There you are. Now can I get a skinny piece of you? No. I know, right? Can't take it with you. Might as well share. I could care less. A friend of mine used to tell me that money was just pictures of dead presidents anyway. And in this, you know, stuff I've been through, yep, I can, I get that. Doesn't matter. It all comes out in the end. And I don't mind this white space on here because it looks kind of cool because I'm going to cut strips this way. Right. There she is! You little rascal, your ears must have been burning. So, I'm going to sit this aside. This takes a while to dry, so I'm going to have to use my heat gun. But I will sit this aside and, and plow on for another one. Um, while that dries a little bit. And, you know, also what you can do, if you really, really, really like a piece that you're working on, I know how Jean likes green. You could just collage this whole piece down here. Cut strips of that, right? And add other little bits on there. And you got yourself a whole something, something going on there. Um, let me see if I can find one that I would do that with. That one's kind of cool, huh? Maybe I'll do that with that one. And instead of going straight, because these lines go this way, maybe I'll go this way so it gets cut up. That's what I'm thinking. Let me see. Dig it around. I love the way I redid my drawers, i got to tell you. Loving my collage bitch drawer. I'll, at the end, I'll take the camera off the rack and show you guys what I'm talking about. Ooh. There's a really pretty one that I did the other day. I can't remember what I used to get that. Ah. And that's Ellen's... Um, spiral stamp. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'll use this one on there and make tape out of it. That'd be kind of cool, huh? There's some green on its way to you, Miss Jean. I made you a green page and stuck it in with the deli paper, so it's on the way. Yep, Anita, that's all it is. That's all it is. I'm going to make one solid one here while this other one dries. So I'm going to go ahead and slather this up pretty well. Not, about a third of the way down is what I've been doing. Doesn't really matter. As long as you can keep up with it and it doesn't dry out on you. And then I took the um, 
take the paper, try to get it on a, a on a, an edge, right, in this corner over here. Kind of line up this corner a little bit, best you can. Get it going over there, and then kind of mush it down. I don't know that you'd really have to go over the top of this, doing it this way. Um, you know, the other ones I went over the top to keep all the edges down from where they were torn. But this one, I'm thinking you probably wouldn't have to do that, but I might just for, just, just because. <laughs> I know, it's really fun. Oh, really? They only had 10%. Well, see, where were you last week when I ordered? Oh. That's all right. I still got a good deal. So there's this one. And for drying time's sake, I think I'm going to just... Am I not going to do that? I can't decide. I wonder what... You know what? I'm going to do it. Oh, I got time, right? Throw it. a little bit more of a sheen on here makes it even pop. I don't know if you guys are seeing it. Yeah, it looks pretty bright on camera now that I'm looking at it. But this is like knockout colors here, I think. This is fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. Try to get most of that off of there. Throw that in some water. Yeah, it's um, it's full full sheet labels. And okay, I'm gonna put this aside. Let that start to dry. Come back to the first one. I'm gonna dry this with the heat gun a little bit. So yes, I will. Hang on one sec. I'll show you. Here it is. Sixty four seventy Avery. They're full 8x11, full sheet labels. Is that 64.70? That's what it is. They're not cheap. I think for like, how many is in here? What does it say? 10 labels, 10 sheets. I think this was 14 bucks. So they are not cheap. Bastards. <laughs> Yes, they're like a big shipping label. It's all white and black, blank. Okay, I'm going to... Um, hey, Trina. We're going Paula style. He's gone. This is going to take a little bit to do this, so... Hang in there. I'm going to do another layer of marks on top of this. This was um, Utrecht. Matte medium. Jane Davies was using this, and I thought if it's good enough for her, it's good enough for me. Oh, really, Jean? Dollar store. I oh, hey, Kristen. Thanks for joining Down Under. One of my best friends in the whole world isn't Down Under now. She moved there a number of years ago with her hubby. Lives in Brisbane. Two dollars, two dollars for ten sheets. Good Lord, girl. Yeah, have you tried any yet? Is it is it pretty substantial and sticky? Yeah. Oh, really? 
20 minutes north of Brisbane. Oh, I hope to get there one of these days. It's on my bucket list. Our company has offices in Sydney, but there's no reason that me and my position would really have to go there unless they need help for an event or something that I could sneak on a plane. Oh. I'll get there one day. Oops. Still a little bit damp. $11 for $25. Ooh, I'm going to click on that link real quick so I um, can check that out later. Thanks. I know. I'm working on it, Jean. This does take a while to dry. That's the only downfall. I'm try to feel this. See if it's let it cool down a little bit. I can feel what's going on. You know what? I think that'll work. That's dry dry enough. <laughs> Get out my skizzies. Oh, geez. oh, I got the the big Tim Holtz scissors. <laughs> oh, I loved you. Yes, Cindy, I'm going to put it... Oh, thanks. You're welcome, hon. I'm going to put it up on uh, YouTube when we're done. Hopefully, it records everything. My last one, it was in... Uh, I dropped, and I had to go back online, but it missed, like, two hours of my project. So, show the beginning and the very last 20-some minutes. Are you freaking kidding me? All right, just trimming off the extra little bits. And they may be salvageable for a little something. Oh, look at that. Oh, how can you throw that away? Bye, Cindy. Okay, so that's pretty dry. I'm going to come back, and this is another one of my favorite little stamps. I got this on Etsy. Uh, little centrifugal circles. And that makes a nice little addition. And I try to pop this where the white space is showing through and other places but that's a good start for it off the edges down here where there's not much going on and this looks like I'm over stamping it but remember you're only going to see small little slivers of all this right so don't anybody panic Some off the edges up here and I never I make them all different sizes when I cut them I'm not exact about it at all but I did I did notice one thing that I wanted to do when I started doing it is to make some skinny pieces for my I got a set laying out here that I'm going to use on my next page for my documented life project I cut out some real skinny ones so that I can use these to separate the days on the calendar side and then these I can use on my other pages right now that's just my way of thinking okay all right what else do we need Do I need a little bit more gold on there, perhaps? Yeah, it might be enough. A little pop here and a little pop there. All right, I'm going to heat gun that a little bit, get that ink dry. Yeah, thanks, Trina. I this I don't know if you were on earlier or not, but I was saying 
few nights ago, I was laying in bed, couldn't sleep, had the insomnia again, tossing and turning, and my brain's just going, and I'm thinking about, hmm, I wonder what else I could do with my deli papers. And this full label thing hit me, and I forgot why I even bought those recently. I was going to do something with it, but I'll damn if I can tell you what it was now. Oh, yeah, Pat. Anything like that really adds a nice little touch. All right. I think we're done there. Are we? We be done. Okay. So, take my trusty little cutter upper. I'm going to let this, I don't want it to be so warm that it squishes the... Yeah, it's fun on that jelly, on the, um jelly uh, plate, uh, hope. Jen, you have to get in there and start tearing it up, girl. Get that jelly plate out and get it all painted up. I'm trying to cool this off. I haven't lost my mind. I just saw my myself in the lag time on the computer. Me <laughs> going like this. Like, good God. Oh, the wine tour. <gasps> you guys probably saw pictures on Facebook that were not the most flattering, but yeah, it was good, from what I recall. So I just lay this puppy on here and start cutting my little strips of lovely. And there you go. Ta-da. So I love the green and the orange together. They are such cool colors. I think the purple and that reddy color on here might have darkened this down a little bit, but it's it's different. And I might make a couple little skinny ones. Skinny, skinny minis. Oops. Oh, crap. Here goes my cutter. It's getting crazy. Like this to put in between the dates on my, my um, documented life project. Right? Cute. I know, right? I mean, how easy is that? And you can make it whatever color you want, whatever size you want. Um, now I might, I might grab a bigger strip of this somewhere along the line in here to use like in a big canvas collage, right? Like this. Yeah, you can put it on the note cards. Yep. All kind of good stuff. But I can't stop making that stuff. Somebody stop me. <laughs> Yep. Oops, hello. I know. Now the ideas of what all I can use it for are like bouncing around in my head. <laughs> Maybe a couple more little skinny pieces for who knows what. You know, you can take a piece like this and turn a piece upside down and it's like you got two different kinds of tape. Right? Because they look so different because you get the little pops of black and gold are so different on each, each piece that you cut. Right? So let me cut this little piece in about half and that should be pretty good. Uh-oh. Who's calling? I have no idea who this is. And Dave's not here. Call Pardon me. Hello? Hello? Yes? Okay, thank you. Oh, wrong number. Jesus. Okay, now let's go back to this one. And I need to hit, the, hit this one with the heat gun a little bit. Yeah, Dorothy, you can um, go into, um, ah, I don't know what the settings are, but you can go into your account on Ustream and you can pay, I think it's like $3 or $3.99 a month 
and you won't get any ads. You can kill the advertisements that way. Oh, cool, Katie. Oh, yeah, the tie dot one. I got another, I submitted another three dozen designs, so it should be a couple more months. I'll be having even more come out. Got some really cool ones. I mean, I love the ones I did, obviously, or I wouldn't have think, thought of them. <laughs> Um, oh, Gina, are you saying if you just use Chrome or Firefox that those browsers, you don't get any commercials? Is that what I'm saying? Ooh, wouldn't that be pretty? I do too. I love this one. are enjoying them. It's so fun to see, go out on Facebook and see pictures. I'm like, oh my god, that's my design stencils. <laughs> wow. Oh, ad block. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, let me cut this off because I will use this for something special, I'm sure. Isn't that just yummy? <laughs> this still feels a little bit damp. You know, I just realized I don't have any black on here. Do I need black on here? Oh, thanks, Jean. I put a couple more in a box that I sent up to you with the deli wrap and your green tape and a painted folder. and um, I put a couple more stencils in there for you. You always help me whenever I'm streaming putting up links and tips and keep me from going totally haywire. I appreciate it. Do I need black? <laughs> oh, I will. Oh, I use his, I, they're, they're my go-to scissors, both of them. Unless I need something really fine, then I use these that, um, oh, I forget who gave me these a long time ago when I first started doing the, last year, the honeybees. They are really nice little detail scissors. No black? All right, I'm going to have to trust you, I guess. So, but look at this poly in here. How cool is this? Just a little poly yumminess there. Now, I can tell you that when this sits by itself and dries, it's going to curl up. So if you can put it under something heavy to let it dry, you can avoid that. And I've even taken the dry ones, turned them upside down and uncurled them and put something on it, and then they're fine. They'd be fine. So, um... Get out of there. Okay, here we go. Let's have some pink and gold. Hello, lover. Um, I'm putting them journaler. I'm putting the the my painted deli wrap. I'm uh, collaging it onto full page labels from Avery. Oh, there's my little girl dog came and crawled up underneath of me. Hey, baby girl, something scare you up there? Oh, did something make you pooky up there? You're such a sissy. 
Your daddy will be home soon. Your daddy will be home soon. There you go. I mean, it's just so... The color is so shocking bright with those neons in there. I love them. Get a couple skinnier than that for my DLP journal. Oh, look at you. I'm telling you, you can't hate this. You can try. But if you can hate this, you need to seek help very soon. Might be too late for you. <laughs> look at that. Oh, yes. I'm going to make a lot of little ones on this because I might use this one quite a bit. go it's that easy I'm gonna cut a couple little bigger chunks now I wish I remembered exactly what color this was darn it I have to write a little formula chart down it's got Quinn magenta in it that's what this purpley color is I remember that and I don't remember, get off of there. I don't remember what the pinks were. It must have been a neon pink. And maybe the neon red. Uh, maybe that was it. That looks like a possibility. It's possible. Let me cut you in half. Okay, there you go, that quick. You got a whole bunch of lovely right there. Of course, these little ones want to flip over on the white side. So how cool is that? And I mean, when you fan it all out, it doesn't look like much on that sheet, but when you cut it up that small, you know, and you, that's a lot of tape. You know, love you. I loved you. I loved you. And now look. Oh, hello. Hello, mixed up tape. Look at you. How cute are you? There you go. So that's how I make my collage washi tape. I'm going to set this aside. Um, so does anybody have any questions about that one? Because I'm going to switch gears here in a minute. And if you guys don't want to hang with me while I do a correction on my canvas from the other day, that's fine. Um, but anybody got any questions on this? This bunch of lovely. I'm glad you did too, Pat. So if you got any other questions, lay them on me. I'm just going to be putting this aside. Thank you. And I'm going to um, go back to this. That's my niece who's getting married. I'm going to make her one of these two. Um, shh, don't tell her. That's my niece, Chelsea, and her fiancé, Pete. So, um... Hey, Darcy, thanks. So last stream, I was making this for a friend of mine at work who's getting married. And at the very, very, very last minute, I dropped... Yeah, they are... They're pretty easy to peel. Laura... Um, sometimes if, because that's the back of those labels have about one inch seams down the back. And if you get lucky enough to get a seam on a piece of tape, you just bend it and it pops right off. Other than that, um, you just got to kind of wiggle it a little bit and 
course I'm all thumbs now. There we go. Right. Oh, you're welcome, Laura. Laura. Is that how you say it? Am I saying that right, Laura? I love that. I don't know if I made something up or that's really your name. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, my bearded friend here. So I need to, um, yeah, I need to take his goatee away. <laughs> Let me, uh, I gotta look through my stash here and find another frame like that. So I can use it as a guide to cut out the picture. Where the hell did I put them, I wonder? Oh, Lord, did I reorganize? Oh, here we go. Oh. I got another one just like it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, I know. I had a lot of people giggling and me cussing. But I was giggling on the side, too. And what the hell? Um. I need my, oh, here it is. I'm telling you, I've reorganized myself into chaos. So I'm going to use this to try to figure out how to cut him out again. And when I did this, I, um, yeah, <laughs> he had the hot glue sperm. Yep, there they are. <sighs> um, let's see. When I did this, I left the, because the frame is open, I um, let the picture come out through it. So I'm going to try to line it up so I don't like, not only give him a goatee, but lop off a digit or something. So let's see, where's this go? Oh, you know what I'm seeing? This picture, I'm running out of toner. Oh my God. Look at the difference in these pictures. Look at the skin tone. Right? Nice skin tone. We're red. And that looks a lot better with the yellow. Dag on it. Maybe he won't notice the goatee. Oh, I must be running out of yellow ink. Crap, crap, crap. Well, I'm not going to do that now. Dang it. You know, there's just some things that they just don't, don't want to go my way. <laughs> and this one, now that I look at Chelsea again, I've seen this picture before. She's looking a little peaked. And that pretty girl. That's my baby girl right there. Crap. Okay, I don't want to do that right now. Um, so much for that idea. More toner. I was just up there today. Didn't know we needed more. My our printer. I'm telling you, I don't get too much printed that I need new toner. You must have like, I don't know, teeny tiny little toner things in it. Whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, he might not notice, or maybe he'll grow a goatee. I could influence him. Um, let's see. I, what time is it? What time is it? 8.04. So I've been on for an hour and a half. And Dave should be back any minute. And I think he's going to bring us something to eat back because we've been working inside and outside all day. So I might wrap it up a little bit early, girls. Since I don't have anything really specific to do. Um, you have it set on high quality um are you asking me about the printing the picture gene i did i believe yeah i'm gonna say hey look you look good in a goatee why don't you try it <laughs> oh casey will kill me the bride to be i don't know maybe she'll like it start a whole new trend you had no shave november well i've Goatee June. I'm trying to think of what else I could mess around with here for a little bit, but I, um, you know what? I might just, if you guys want to just hang out and chat, maybe I'll throw some more paint on some more deli paper. Um, it's, it is pretty flexible. I mean, you know, I can do this if I want. 
Hello. If I can make my fingers work, I can do it. It's, it's of course, with the backing on it, it's, oh, look, I got a little curl. Um, it's heavier with the backing on it, of course. But, um, happy Easter, Anita. It's, uh, it's deli over that label paper, so it's a little heavier than the regular paper proper washi tape. Um, all right, I'll just sling some paint around then. Um, somebody else asked, do I have, a, no, I don't have a schedule for regular shows, and I, I want to work to that end, um, and I'm just not there yet, because, you know, I work full time, I, um, I just, sometimes it happens that I can just, like tonight, I had about 20 minute notice, and I thought, oh, hell, let's just do it now. And, uh, so it's, um, really difficult for me to plan too far ahead, um, on my streams. I'll try to give you more than a 20 minute notice. <laughs> um, on canvas, I would probably use matte medium, but I've been, what I've been doing with, and I only used it once, um, as I put it in this page I did in my documented life project that's not finished yet but I you know see I have this strip down here and I've been watching it to see how it would work and it's it's on there pretty darn good here's a little piece here and the little tiny strips that I put in between the days I was playing over here to color these and I I saw how um, Lorraine from one of the art five girls how she used her Prismacolor pencils and that odorless mineral spirits and I didn't have any of course I ordered some um but I thought what else can I use so I put down um some of my um prisma ones and I used a blending solution alcoholic blending solution and that was a little bit too much work for not near the results and um then I took some of my um, Inktense pencils and colored it in a little bit and took a baby wipe and went back and kind of wiped over it. That came out pretty cool. Um, and this, like I said, is not finished. This was my, this was back in February. I'm way behind on this thing. But um, this was mine and Dave's seven year anniversary of our first date, which was February 10th. So, but that, I've used it there. And I haven't really used it anywhere else yet. Um, oh, yeah, I did. Look, I, I just threw some extra down there because I could. Um, but anyway, I have a lot to catch up on in here. But um, I'll get there. Have I tried spraying ink over my deli prints? I have not. I think it would. Yeah, I, okay, now I see the resist comment. Yeah, I think that would be right. Goo gone. Oh, I think we, I think Dave's got some goo gone. I was going to try something else. I have mineral oil, but I'm thinking the oil would kind of go through the pages too much. So, um, anyway, all right, let me get my paints back out again. <laughs> Lordy, I'm telling you, I'm so easy. You guys can talk me into anything. All right, let me get some of this out of my way. Put these in a safe place. I divided up my, um, I told you guys earlier, but I divided up my, uh, I have one of those, I, well, I have a lot of, several of those IKEA cabinets. The Alex ones with the long, wide, flat drawers. And I have one sitting here, like, makes my desk like an L shape. And I had my collage papers all crammed in the top drawer, and I went through the other day. Uh, no, Jen, I haven't tried that. I bet any of that stuff would work. You could probably glue stick them on there. Um, but I divided my three drawers, and when I get ready to stop streaming, I'll show you. I got a hot drawer, I got a cold drawer, and I got a neutral drawer. I do. So, a bunch of people will be saying, Patty said she has hot drawers. <laughs> Won't be the first time I've heard that, gotta tell you. <laughs> All right, let me get these little bits to safety over here. Because when I start slinging paint, anything is... Mm. 
Yeah. You didn't twist my arm too bad. I oh, know. I'm easy. I saw it written on, on a, in a bath stall at the stadium one time that Patty was easy, and I guess they're right. <laughs> that was a joke. That's how rumors start, I know. Keep it to yourself, people. All right, let me get myself reorganized here and uh, grab my paints again. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Who are you calling crazy? <laughs> you know, it's overrated. Being being normal and you know doing what you're supposed to do is a little overrated in my book. Let's see. Let's do, I think, I'm going to try to figure out that one with the gold circles on it. Let me try this. Where the hell did that go? Hang on. Magenta. It might have been those three. Hey, little girl. Let's see you and little baby girl. Where's Mojo? Huh? Did you leave Mojo? Is he upstairs by himself? Hmm? You guys want to see Mojo and Babe? Mojo! Mojo, Mojo, come and see! Where is he? Pardon me, I'm going to yell. Mojo! Oh, now the phone's ringing, sweet Mary. Anonymous. I'm streaming, people. Hello? Oh, Lord. I got just got a free cruise to the Bahamas. You guys want to all go? I'm sure I can take everyone. <laughs> Paints a little round with white lids. They're golden fluorescents. They are yummy. Mojo! Come here, Mo! Oh, you know what? I bet he went out the back door and is laying on the deck. Because <laughs> he usually comes when I call him. Unlike his sister. It can be a little dense, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm getting all kind of calls. There are trucks coming around and can you donate this and can you send money for this? And like, you know what, people? I, I try to help as much as I can, but I'm only one person. <laughs> I'm going to get out a, a clean scraper because my other one's kind of munged up. And I'll use that for something else. Got my little drawer scrapers here. I'm telling you. I'm trying to get Mojo down here, and then I'll pull the camera down off the thing and let you guys have a peek at both of them. They are the sweetest little boogers. You know what? Hang on. Let me call him. Make sure everything's kosher upstairs. Where's, where's your baby Bubba? Huh? Where's your Bubba? I bet he's outside, isn't he? Mojo! Here we go. I hear, hear the stampede. <laughs> All right. Put your seatbelts on. I'm going to take you down off the camera stand here for a minute. Okay. Here we go. Hold tight. Mojo, come here, baby. Here's little sissy. Being a sissy hiding underneath the... Let me see the camera so I can see what I'm doing. Here's my baby. Here's my mojo. Oh, my goodness. Now they're both, of course, going to try to cram under my desk. Mojo, what a pretty boy. You're so handsome. And there's your little sissy. They're my babies. There's my baby boy. It's Mojo. And this is Babe. That's my little Babe. She's a little knucklehead. She's a sweetheart, but she's a knucklehead. And Mojo's a big, he's just a big sweetheart. He's all sweetheart. Aren't you? I, sorry, guys, this camera's a little tricky. Hold it in my hand and trying to look at them and look at the screen to see what's on. There's Mojo. Say hi. Say hi, Aunt today. Okay, babe's looking the lens. That's good. There we go. <laughs> okay, while I have the camera out, let me see if I can do this by looking at the screen. I added this whole shelving unit deal the other day. And the base shelf, like, in the center of the screen now. That's where the dude fell off the ladder from putting in that wire, and Dave caught him, and then he crashed and knocked down my canvases. That are underneath there, and some of them are now over here. But anyway, so put that in. Um, 
and just kind of reorganize some of my other stuff. I'm spinning in my chair. Oh, there comes your daddy. Your daddy's here. So that's kind of an idea of what's going on behind me. And then right beside me, there's my honey. <laughs> um, so my desk, I put a couple of these little ditties you get from Michael's mm -hmm. and helped organize stuff. No, Mojo and Babe are not siblings. Mojo's actually six months older. He's American bred and she is English. Um, so here's, there you are. Oh, look, a camera and a camera. Um, and then here is a little stack that I made like an L shape on my desk. I'll be right up, hon. Yeah, what is it? Uh, this, okay. This is what the guy knocked over and broke the back out. Of. I know. <laughs> I know. So here's what I was telling you guys about. Oh, look at this wooden tray I got at an antique shop to hold pens and markers. Cool, huh? Dave's laughing at me. Giving you up the tour. Would they like to have some storage stuff? <laughs> I know. I saw that at a good price. <laughs> um, so here's my three drawers of my collage stuff, right? And this unit here. Is everybody getting seasick? Good lord. So here's my drawer of all my... Oh, I hear something cramming up in the back there. Oh, oh no. All right, all my hot colors up here. All right, and then here's my tray of all my cool colors. Oh, here, look at this one. Here's that rectangular stamp in gold on that. How yummy is that? All right, and then here is my neutral drawer where I have all my tapes laying in here too. But I got all my neutral stuff, black and white and, you know, beigey browns, neutral, you know. I love this. I just got, I bought this some time ago and just found it in my reorganization attempt. So, um, there we go. So, sorry about that rough ride. <laughs> but if you want to see around, that's the, that's the ride we go on around here. Try to plug this back in and hit it back up on the magnetic mount that it was on without, oh Lord. And Dave said he brought me home dinner. So I might not be able to paint right now. Um, are we back? Whew. Lordy, I'm glad that's over. I bet you guys are too. Oh, you have a um, you have a yellow tuning, Sarah. Oh, they're the best, aren't they? You know, I'm in the, I'm in an unfinished basement, Anita. So there's nothing fancy, but it's great because if I drop something, spill something, it's not a big deal, and I have plenty of space to spread out to, and you know, it it really suits me. I have uh, uh, behind my big desk, I have room for one, two, three, four maybe five other people to actually come and join me to play. So, anybody live near Southern Maryland? <laughs> you know what, I got this paint on. I'm gonna do this one, then I'm gonna go have dinner. Join my husband. He was nice enough to get it. At least I can go eat it with him. All right, let's try a little bit of this. Look at that, hot pink. <laughs> oh, I almost, I wanna go and wipe this on my shirt because that's what I'm so used to doing. I don't think, oh, dang. Look, I did get something on it. Shoot. Man. I'm losing shirts by the hour around here, I'm telling you. Is that what I had on there? I don't know. That doesn't look right either, does it? <laughs> well, I mean, how wrong can it be? This is, these are the two fluorescents that's pink. And this one is... Uh, red and then I'm going to throw some magenta Quinn magenta in there let's see what happens oh that might be it ah I think that's it oh hello lover yeah oh you the one <laughs> oh, hello. Yikes. 
in my excitement. Oh, Jackie, I missed it. It scrolled up. What was your question? I'm looking now. Oh, look at you. <laughs> yeah, the drawers are from Ikea. They're the Alex grouping. They are really nice. They slide so nice, and they're really wide and flat, and you can get so much more in there than you would ever dream you could, and I can prove that. I have three of the low ones. Yeah, Susan, they are um, the Alex set. Now, the little cubes I showed you over in the new table that I said I did, they're the little Michaels uh, 14 inch square cube so it holds 12 by 12 stuff. These, this is an Apple gift card. Huh. Look at that. You know what? While I have those colors, I might make another one or two. Shh. Be right up, darling. Bless his heart. Oh, I love my scanner mouse. Yep. And I scan like all this papers in. Of course, not the ones I smushed up right away with you guys. But um, I scan those in and then I can print those out. And use them for art and an art. Art and art. I got a... Anything I would change or wish I had. Um, hmm. Anything I could, would change. Um, <laughs> about the setup, I would have probably started with all Michaels, I mean, all Ikea stuff instead of having the random pieces around. Um, my friend Ellen that does the stamps I was showing you guys, her studio looks like, literally, it should be in a magazine. It is gorgeous. She and her husband just moved to a new house, um, new to them, um, that is really cool. And it's, um, they had a big sunroom, three walls of glass, sunlights, and they, um, that's her studio. Oh my God, you should see it. It is the perfect studio in every way. Um, but you know, I don't, I don't know that I change anything really. I'm, I'm quite satisfied with the way it is. It's not, it's not going to be in a, in a magazine for sure, but I've got plenty of elbow room and, and, uh, you know, so I'm good. Of course, I always want new art supplies. Mm. But a couple things I've gotten that I just really haven't used. Like I, for some reason, got a Vagabond because it was on sale on Overstock for like, um, it was half price. Used it once or twice, sitting on the shelf. I got a cinch, had to have that, sitting on the shelf. I'm going to try just these two and leave the pink out. That's the Flow Red and the Quinn Magenta. Let's see what happens here. Um, oh, I got a lot of paint on there. Better get that. Oh. Wow, I do have a lot of paint on there. I'll have to use this paper for something. I gotta be a butamus. Alright, let's see what we get here. You know, one thing I noticed about these fluorescents, and um, see where it left these splotches where I wiped them? It like does something to where you first drop them. And um, it leaves that mark on the paper, which is fine. Um, it's just weird because the other ones all kind of blend in, but you will see those plops where you first placed them on the deli paper. I find it rather interesting. Ooh, look at you. Mm. Okay, there's three more. Let me do something different to all three of these and finish those up and then I'll go up and eat with my husband. Okay. Where's my first one? Is that this one? No, I'm still a little bit, a little damp on the thicker. It's it. This one's dry. Okay. Um. 
Let's see, where's my gold? Back on another paper palette. Lordy. This gold just really looks so nice. I had some friends over um, last weekend and they wanted to do floor cloth. So they came over and we painted, uh, well, they did. I didn't do another one at the time, but they painted floor cloths. And um, my one friend was using um, a gold metallic on hers for this flourish design. And um, it was like real transparent. I said, here, try this. And she used such a little bit of this golden's gold. And it was completely opaque and on the paper, or the canvas, rather. And, um, <laughs> now, you know, if you want to hate that. Yeah, Anita, on these papers, I'm using mostly goldens. They're just, they're, you use so little of them, and they're so saturated that they make really brilliant, brilliant papers. Um, but look at that with the gold on it. I mean, really? Hooey! Hey, you've got to love that. You must love it. Let me put some on this rogue green one that got away from me. Gee, this is in your honor. Need some black on this one. To pop it a little bit. There we go. See a little bit of that shadow on there, right? This one. No, I did this one next. Um, let's see. Babe, you're still down here with me and, and there's food upstairs? Oh, Lord, honey, what's happened to you? <laughs> All right, let's do... Um, <laughs> this is color is just electric. I'm glad I figured that out. Especially since I used my last piece of that other one. <laughs> All right, let me dry a little bit. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make one just like the other one. <laughs> oh, the cat was watching while the pups were on. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Making this one round because I'm going to go in here with my Ellen Fargo circly swirl. This is what I had on that other one, right? So I can sort of duplicate it again. Oh, smushed it. Look where I drug the, it's stuck and I drug the paper with it. That's one thing you got to be careful with. This paper so light, it will just stick to the wet paint and just lift up with it. And then a lot of times it'll smear. If you're not careful, you've got to be careful. There we go. It's like it never disappeared on me. There you go. I got another replacement now for the one I sacrificed. So now, let's go back. Put a little bit of black in there, I think. Where's my... Here it is. Get some of this out. Bye, Trina. Happy Easter. I, Dave's got a sub upstairs wait, waiting for me, too, actually, and I'm starving. I had yogurt this morning, coffee, and a little bit of popcorn, and I think that's all I had today. I know. I'm not the smartest. Um, you know, let's put some of this little guy on here in the black paint. Let me make it real thin. <laughs> oh, yeah. I loved you. I loved you. There 
There you go. Just a little pop in there. I know. I know I just got so busy. I was had to run some errands today and got a late start because I haven't been sleeping and the fans coming over tomorrow for dinner. Forgot about that while I'm down here streaming. Crap. But Dave's got that under control. He's going to make some tri-tip roast out in the grill and some chicken and you got a pork roast too. I don't know how we got like eight people. I don't know what the, who the hell he's feeding. Um, going to do some asparagus on the grill and some squash with mushrooms and onions and garlic and olive oil cooked on the grill and baked potatoes and some rolls on a salad macaroni and cheese I have a world famous macaroni and cheese recipe bye Susan Okay, Laura, thank you for joining us. I'm glad you got to join in. You too. I'll see you on Facebook. Um, what the hell was I even saying? Oh, our menu. Yeah, it's a lot of food. Hey, I think we're feeding an army. Yeah, so much for Weight Watchers again this week. Damn. Easter Bunny, I'm telling you, it's killing me. I just put a little black on that one this time. A little papa. There's this one. Some gold there. Let's do some plain black circles on here with some paint. That's a big circle. Make this bigger. Try to push hard and spread the paint out where the stamp is. Sometimes it works. Sometimes not so much. <laughs> I know I'm starving. I'm starving. No chance of me going hungry. I can tell you that much. Luckily I'm not a frail little ballerina with a... Uh, that one smudged a little bit. That's too much. Let's do a lighter touch, shall we? Oop, that's too light. <laughs> yeah, I beat the hell out of my anorexia. Oh. Hey. That's good enough for now. All right, there's another one. And one more. Oh, Lucy, you need some black on you. Yes, my dear. I see a little pop of black. No, gold, I mean. You have black. All right, let's do some gold. And I think I'm going to do my... Um, oh, Panera. Papa Panera. And then I'll wrap it up when I do this one, guys. Go eat with my husband. Oh, look at you. I love this pattern. i got to go to Panera. Oh. And beg the chef for some more, or order a bunch of sandwiches or something. Came underneath of a panini or not? I don't usually get the paninis. I wonder what I got. I don't know. Taking this in as evidence, though, I will go over the counter if I can't get more. I will leave with some more of these. Trust me. All right. There we go, ladies. There's some more goodies for some more painted papers. All right, this one. I don't know. Oh, here it is. There we go. All right, with that, I'm going to sign off before I pass out. Go get some nourishment. Clean out my brush a little bit in my bucket, and that's going to be all that brush gets tonight. And we'll call it a night. So, hope everybody got some tips on making some cool tapes. And had a little chuckle or two and here they are that's what we made earlier if you join later by painting these dilly papers collaging them on a full sheet label and cutting those babies up so there you go all right guys happy easter to everyone who celebrates and i will catch you on the flip side night guys thanks everybody for taking your time to join me Really appreciate it.
See you, Lou Jean. Bye, Jean. See you, Trina, Jackie. Donna. I'm starting to learn these names. Bye, Rain. Bye, bye, bye. Everybody. All right. Knocking the camera down. Here we go. I'm really going. Bye.